to make a bob here. If you're looking for a simple project to make flagpoles out of PVC, then you're in the right place. So a few weeks ago, I was looking to uh, add some color to my presentations called Calypso for Kids for Students, and I wanted a way to display the flags of the countries that I referenced throughout my program. And then it came upon me to try and see if I could find a PVC uh, project because that would allow me to take it apart and I'd be able to fit in my vehicle and I'd be able to transport it very easily. Most of the projects that I saw on uh, YouTube and uh, on the internet were, were projects where you were going to stick something in the ground and then you'd have a piece of rebar and then you put the PVC on top of it and then the flag could swing around or the two flags could swing around or whatever. I was looking for a project that I could use indoors mostly and maybe outdoors occasionally, but it had to be freestanding. I couldn't really rely on sticking something in the ground. So here's my take on a two flagpole uh, design uh, based, uh, uh, built out of PVC. So first of all, for this project, I decided to use uh, three quarter inch PVC. That's what I had around the house, and so uh, I, I, I used that. And, uh, and I'll talk a little bit more about the pros and cons of that uh, at the end after I've talked about everything that went together. So the first thing uh, I wanted to work on was the base. And I wanted to make sure I had a base that was wider than deeper so that it would compensate for having two flags, right? So uh, if, it, if you only have one flag, you could probably just do it square and you'd be fine but I liked uh, doing it this way. So I decided on 18 inches as my width, and then I took um, and cut six inch sections for the edges. And then this piece in the middle, because of choosing 18, I couldn't find the exact measurement on my tape measure. So it worked out to be eight inches and right in between a 7 16th and a uh, 3 eighths mark on my tape measure. And when I cut that, uh, the pieces there, then everything fit nicely enough that this was centered. All right, so you can see you got four elbows in and three T's so far. And then um, the top of the flagpole, and I'll step to the right here, see this here, uh, I have a T. And again, I used six inch pieces to, uh, to spread this apart. And then I used 45 inch, um, 45 inch couplings, 45 degree uh, couplings, sorry. And then uh, this is a four foot length, right? And then for the flagpole itself, I uh, used four foot lengths and I got end caps to make it, you know, dress it off a little bit nicely, a little bit, uh, a little bit more nicely. And so I have two flagpoles. So in total, for my uh, production, I, I needed then four, four flagpoles, and then I needed two verticals, right? And then, uh, so that's six four-foot sections. Um, I think you could get away with using probably 40 feet of um, PVC, and you would probably make everything in this project, but you might need a little bit more depending on how long you make the base and so on. So let me show you what it looks like standing up so that you can get a sense for its height. Um, as I said before, this is at four feet approximately because it's sitting in the T of the base, and I'll stand behind it. I am about six feet, and so I'll come a little bit closer so you can see uh, that. You can see it's, it, it, it's really not quite the fair angle, but if I stand to the side of it, I'm just a little bit over six foot tall. So you can see that about six, six, this covers uh, the flag. And I'll stand it on this table back here so you can see. All right, so that's what that project looks like. Okay. 
Now, the thing I liked about this project is that it was it's simple. Uh, I, it, it takes me five minutes or less to put it together when I get to a performance. Uh, in fact, I leave the bases together, and then I leave the T together, and then I separate the poles, so that's, and then I wrap up the flag separately. So I am able to get that together probably in five minutes or less. The disadvantage uh, I found might be because it's a three-quarter inch and not a one-inch uh, PVC, and so I think I'm, I might rebuild these out of one-inch PVC uh, just to see uh, the difference in terms of uh, stiffness. If I take out one flag, there's the possibility of it falling over. Uh, not possibility, probability. So you have to have both your flags at, at hand, close by, so that you can make sure and um, uh, set it up without having any of those kind of little accidents that you might have. Certainly, um, uh, uh, so that's, that's a disadvantage. So the disadvantage would be uh, maybe a little wobbly at three quarter inch. I think one inch then it would be a lot more stable. Uh, but the advantage is it's very affordable and um, then you just have the cost of your, whatever flags you're going to be using. In my case, I use the country flags, but um, you might uh, have some other ways to use flags. In fact, here's a couple of ideas that you might want to use uh, or, uh, as, a, as a school. Let's say now you're in elementary school and you have an emphasis on college readiness or career readiness, and as part of the, the school culture, every classroom has its own college or university uh, represented. So maybe all the, you know, maybe they're, I live in Southern California, so maybe they're Cal State schools, and then maybe there's a UC school here at UCLA or Cal Berkeley or uh, Cal State um, San Marcos or Cal State LA. Uh, and then maybe there are some uh, Ivy League schools, you know, Yale and Harvard or whatever. And, and or, or whatever conference you, your, your school is in, uh, you can represent those and, and so on. Well then, when you come to an assembly, particularly when you have an achievement assembly, a reward assembly, or I should say an award assembly, uh, then the classes that maybe have done, uh, maybe had the uh, best attendance, their flags would be displayed. And sometimes those uh, college flags are more like pennant size so that they are smaller. So you could probably have two uh, here per side. So then you could have maybe eight total displayed uh, and you could rotate those through uh, for every one of those assemblies or maybe all the third and fourth grade classes if that's who you have assemblies together with and, and so forth. You can, uh, you can use that as a way to help make it more visually interesting. Another idea you may want to consider is to purchase or invest, I should say is probably the best word, invest in a flag with your school mascot or logo. Uh, this would help uh, kind of make an event official. Maybe when you have your, if you have a promotion at your elementary school or at your uh, middle school you're promoting, uh, you could have one side, of course, you could have your state flag and you can have your, your United States flag and then maybe somewhere you also would have your school flag as a way of saying, hey, this is our, this is our deal and we, we, we own it and we're pretty proud and, and it would be in the pictures, it would be part of the backdrop. Or, or you could just have it uh, for, on display so that kids, uh, students could take pictures with uh, those flags uh, as part of their memories for your school. Um, so, uh, and if you're doing a, a, a theater production, a, a drama or something, this might be a way to, uh, to uh, get, um, uh, uh, you know, this add some, some color and some uh, interest to your uh, presentations. So, uh, this is Jamaica Bob, and I hope this, uh, you found this helpful. And, um, and, as we, and if you have any questions, please make sure and put them in the comments below. And as we say in Jamaica, walk good till next time.